here, so you could pop right over and just. Get... Are you Guys, trying to be like? Who is that? Uh, who the hell is that? Yo, who's that? That's red. That's red. That's who took Jordan before. What are you doing here? I was just stopping by to check in. You got a really nice place here. How'd you find us? Well, lucky me, you came to get Jordan. So you're the one that's been taking people. It's the end of the world, Nick. Everyone's gotta eat. Why are we all still talking about this? Let's kill this motherfucker. Killing me won't save your friend Jordan. What? What's up? To Nick. What do you mean? Uh... Where? What's you have name? some kind. Of, you have some kind of fan, dude. I'll, I'll let you read that. It's it's for you, man. Two, this is just in that chest. Yes, it was just there. To Nick, what the heck? You know it was nice of Private Sanders to leave you this truck, but leaving the keys with it was very risky. And no one could just walk right up and take it. Anyway, thanks for the lift. I'd say thank Private Sanders for me, but something tells me you guys won't be seeing him. Enjoy the city, boys. I'd stick around, but I like my humans cooked well, not burnt to a crisp. No. No, 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 no. Oh. Ghetto! Ghetto, are you in here? Shark, check the other room. Uh, he's not back here. Is he in the other room, Shark? Shark? Is he in there? Oh, God. Well, well, well. Look who it is! It's you. You don't look so excited to see me. What'd you do with Ghetto? Where'd you put Shark? Oh, well, before we carry on with this conversation, I would love if you put your weapons down. It really it makes me anxious. Alright, alright. Relax. Just show me where they are. We don't want any trouble. Well, I'm not gonna tell you where they are. Because they're in a different place. What does that mean? That what'd you do with them? Well, you keep on interrupting me, and I'm really thirsty, okay? What do you mean? Th Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. What'd you do to me? Uh. Ah. Morning. Morning, Sleeping Beauty. How you doing? Uh, what happened? Why can't I move? Don't, 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 don't move. Don't move. It's just gonna make it harder. What? Hold on. I'm actually cooking something up in the kitchen right now if you're a little hungry. No. Get away from me. Oh no, uh, that's not gonna happen. Let me out. No, see, uh, now you're trying to run away. This is not gonna. Uh, this is not gonna work. Help! This is not gonna work. You're gonna have to back up. You're not uh, going anywhere. Ah. Uh, what are you doing? What do you want? Yeah, I just, I just want the city and you know food. And by food, I mean people. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. You're a sick freak. Get away from me. Oh, that's exactly what Ghetto said. You know, your friend. Where is Ghetto? What'd you do with him? Well, let's see. Actually, let's go. Let's go up and join your friend Ghetto. You, you're probably wondering where he is and how he's doing. You want to go see him? Where, where is he? What'd you do with him? Oh, just follow me up the staircase, and we'll go visit your friend. Are you ready? Come Not following me. you anywhere. Leave me alone. Oh, but oh, you don't. So you don't want to see your friend? No, just just. You, you don't want to see your. Friend. Let me out of here. Okay. That's not how this works. It's either you follow me upstairs and we go see your friend. Or I just continue to torture you in this, you know, this, you know, fine establishment. So, what do you want? Uh, Alright, well, see, now you're just making this a little bit more difficult than it really needs to be. So, if you don't get up these stairs right now, I'm gonna put a bullet right between your eyes. So, uh, make up your mind. Uh, Alright, alright, let's go. Where, where, these stairs? These stairs right here. Uh, I'll just calmly walk up the stairs. Any, any sudden movements and you know, you'll have a bullet right in the back. So, it's up to you, really. Uh, is and Ghetto I, here? Where... What'd you do he's with waiting him? for us at the top. He's waiting for us at the top. Just go, move, move along. Ghetto, ghetto. I still eat my human with bullets in it, so it doesn't really matter to me. So, uh, just stay away from me. Just, uh, what is this place? Where are we? Oh, we're just you know, in my part of the city. No biggie. Ghetto. Keep on moving. Where is you, ghetto? You just love stairs. They're just so great. Oh, you, you you know honestly Ghetto. you look so tasty right now. It's is oof. Ghetto Oh 
wow. Okay. I see what's going on here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Didn't you guys miss each other? Get out. Are you okay? What happened? Uh, do I look okay? You don't look okay either. Uh, all right. Well, well that's, that's enough loving. That's enough loving. I, just want, I want you in that corner over there, and you stand right here, Ghetto. You stay right here. I'm going to, you know, okay, okay. You're not moving. I'm going to give you the offer again. If you don't move, I'm going to put a bullet right between your eyes, so. Just go. Just go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you the all choice. Right. All right. All right. So, well, now that you did that, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, teach Ghetto a lesson for, uh, you know, being Ghetto. No! Uh, no! Uh, stop! Oh, <laughs> well, you don't like that, do you? What are you doing this for? See, I'm doing this. Get honestly. back in the corner! Don't you see what he's doing? Get back in the goddamn ah. corner! Look, now you're bleeding. Ah. I'm actually just doing this for my pure enjoyment. This is actually quite fun. Oh, I should just love it when the weather matches the mood. This is just great. Well, Nick, I'm assuming you didn't see this coming, but, uh... See? Just kidding. <laughs> Stop. You don't uh, have to do this. Listen, we've got supplies, we got people. We can give you tons of stuff. You don't have to sh you don't have to do us. No, stop! This is too easy. It's just too easy, really. No, don't. No! No! No, stop! Stop! Don't! Don't! No! No! Ghetto! You monster! I like that. that no, was let me out of these cups. Oh, ah! Please, please. Enjoy the rain. Enjoy the scenery. Look at this. Look no. at this. This is mm. this is great. Oh, that's it. Oh. I'm getting out of here. You're <laughs> sick, Red. Run, run while you can. No, ghetto. No. I gotta get out of here. Coming. Gotta find shark. I'm a cop oh. for you. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna make you into some good old fucking chicken nuggets. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> let me you out. Can't run. You let me can't out. run, Nick. Oh, let's go. Let me out. Come on. Someone <laughs> help! Help! Uh, help! No! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, 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 let's see. Just go to sleep. Just go back to sleep. <laughs> so nice of all you to join me. You're just in time for the main course. Red! Nick. So glad you could make it to my get together. Wait, how did you know we were going to be here, Red? How did I know? <laughs> I was the one that sent out the invitation. What are you trying to say? Are you truly so blind? Hasn't this whole operation been oddly fortuitous? What is this sickle talking about, man? Spit it out, Red. What are you getting at? The flyers you read. Littering your no-man's land with promises of liberation, food, shelter, security. Did you never consider that these rudimentary promises were perhaps... A bit too convenient? No. Unfortunately, yes, Nick. You've been deceived yet again. Tisk tisk. And all along, you thought salvation would come so easy. That's it! Enough is enough! Time to pay, you sick son of a bitch! That'd be a bit unwise of you, ghetto. Oh yeah? And why is that, tough guy? Because my sniper surrounding the area might not be very fond of such an irrational decision. Shame this conversation has been so curt. But I really should be off. I'm sure this won't be the last we see of each other. Ta-ta, gentlemen. Look, I could give a damn about these sharpshooters he has in these trees. I'm going after him. Gatto, wait! They're at the prison, just south of here. If we leave now, we should be able to catch them off guard.
Why is the door open? Why is Husky just standing there? It's kind of weird. Maybe it was just a nice greeting. Uh, hey, Husky. Uh, come on, guys. Shut the door. Husky, what gives? What? Well, well. It's been a long time, Nick. I'm so sorry, guys. Wakey, wakey. Huh? Red! <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? What did you do to me? Why am I in this cage? And where's everybody else? Where's Husky? Uh, don't worry about them. But what you should worry about is, or should take note, is don't leave letters behind. Uh, that was the key instrument in me finding you. <laughs> no, Ooh. the letter for AK. Red, what did you do to him? What have you done with everybody? And why are you here? I will answer your questions. But I'm so glad you were able to come to this location where I just happened to find my food. Like, this is just nice. It's like delivery. I love it. So those raiders, the raiders that Husky was talking about, that was you? Uh, more or less, yes. Yes, definitely yes. So those people, all those people you took. <laughs> it's all starting to make sense now, isn't it? I'll kill you! Oh! <laughs> no, you won't. You'll never kill me. Ever. Let me out of here, Red. This isn't about everyone else. It's about me and you. It always has right. been. That's, that's not an option. What are your plans? What are you going to do to us? Uh, I haven't really decided yet. I think I'm going to kind of flip a coin tomorrow and kind of find out, go from there. Um, but uh, you should be worried. You should definitely be worried. Worried is definitely what you should be. Just get out of my face, Red. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of seeing you, and I'm not going to break. You can scare everyone else, but not me. Alrighty. Well, don't try. Don't hurt yourself in there, because I hate my food bruised. All right, but you you have a good rest. I'll leave you. I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be. You know, Nick. You know, I'm glad I found you because the guys that were here earlier just didn't taste as good. <laughs> I honestly can't wait to eat you because I bet I bet you're gonna taste great. I bet you're gonna taste delicious. You know, it's just gonna be. I can't wait. Oh man. Sir, Nick is back inside of the prison. I repeat. You don't need to repeat anything. I've been waiting for him. Prepare for evacuation. Red? What's going on? It sounds like a war zone outside. It seems like you've ran out of time, Ghetto. Your friends aren't coming. And even if they do, it'll be too late for you. If you're going to kill me, just get it over with. Oh, Ghetto. I've never dreamed of killing you. But the Horde of Walkers, on the other hand? Right now, my men are defending the prison against the Horde, using quite a bit of ammunition, as I'm sure you can hear, so that I can plan my evacuation. So you're just going to leave me here? That's your big plan? A few walkers won't stop me from getting my revenge for Jordan. As much as it would please me to watch you get devoured by a horde of the undead, that would put me in quite a pickle. You see, Ghetto, you are quite unique. And I believe you have a much greater purpose to serve. Enough with the riddles, Red. What do you want from me? An answer. Preferably a quick one. As I'd like to avoid being eaten today. The way I see it, Ghetto, your friends have abandoned you. You're wrong. Nick would never leave me behind. We're like brothers. That walker horde is probably 800 strong. If your friends did manage to get through, they're probably running the opposite direction. Face it, ghetto. You're on your own. You don't need to die here, ghetto. You and your group talk about doing good. Don't you think there's still some good you can do in this world? How do I know you won't just kill me? Because if I wanted you dead, I would have served you to my men the first night I had you. Face it, ghetto. If you want to live, I'm your only option. There's no way you can make it through those walkers. Not by yourself. Not without a weapon. 
Here, ghetto, take this. How did you get this? We found a box of them when we took your group hostage. I figured you might need them. Don't worry, we have plenty to get us where we're going. And after that? We should keep moving. Pack it up, boys. Do it. Breach at 12 o'clock. Eyes on target. Fire! Ah, I'm hit! Fall back! Those are innocent people, Red! Get up. There's still a lot you don't understand. I promise by the end of this, you'll realize just how innocent they were. Let's move, boys. Find the main entrance. Lock it down. No one gets in or out of the CDC without us knowing. Save changing the enzyme affects the composition of the virus at all. Uh, can I help you, gentlemen? Actually, you can. I hear you've been having some trouble recreating Formula X. That's classified intel. Who let you in here? Oh, we let ourselves in. But I think you'll find that working for me will be a lot more productive. Now, now, we don't need to get any in trouble here. The, the carrot doesn't even work. It's still too experimental to try on a live subject. Trust me, Doctor. I'm aware. Ghetto. Come out here and meet the doctor. If you don't already know, Formula X was specifically made for this man. I want you to figure out why and recreate it for mass production. Your... your ghetto? The one I've heard so much about? That's enough chit-chat, doctor. I'm very impatient and I get hungry when I'm waiting. I assume you don't want us to cook up one of your assistants for dinner. No, but I... I, I, I did... Perfect. I'll be back in two hours. I promise things will be much better off for you and your men if you have something to show me when I get back. You know, I just can't enjoy this processed food. Not after enjoying the taste of fresh meat for so long. Why are you doing this, Red? These doctors, they're not doing anything to you. They're good people. Oh, is that what you think, Ghetto? Did you also believe the people you were with were good people? How about Nick? Was he a good person for leaving you behind at the prison? You don't know that. Nick would have saved me if he had the chance. It's your fault I'm here. It's been long enough, Ghetto. I think it's time you learned the truth about how things really happened. The truth? From you? Thanks anyway, Red. But I don't believe a word that's coming out of your mouth. I understand why you might find it difficult to trust me. Which is why I brought someone who you will trust. Corey! Let him go! He's not a part of this! Why do you assume everyone is my prisoner? Corey is here on his own. He finally realized which side he really wants to fight for. I think when you've heard his story, you'll have a much different attitude. Ghetto. I'm glad you're alright. I thought you were dead when we left you at the prison. Corey, what are you doing here? I didn't have a choice coming with Red, but you? I know it's a shock, Ghetto. When you were stuck in the prison, all of us wanted to go back and save you. But Nick wouldn't let us. He said you weren't worth the risk. This can't be true. Nick would never leave me. He threatened to kill me if I went back to search for you. Ghetto, I know Nick was your friend, but something changed. He's not a good person anymore. But... but Jordan... Should we tell him? Tell me what? I suppose it's time he knew the truth. When I was talking with Nick on our way to the CDC, he admitted that he blew up Jordan's room himself. It wasn't Red at all, Ghetto. It was Nick the whole time. Are you serious? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Ghetto. I knew you wouldn't believe me if I told you, so I had to wait until we met up with Corey. 
I'm sorry, Ghetto. I know Jordan meant a lot to you, but that's why I had to help Red take over the CDC. Nick isn't a good person. And if he somehow managed to create a cure... I can't believe this. I thought he was my friend. I need to be alone right now. Well, well. That was quite the performance. Yeah, whatever. Just remember our deal. If I lie to Ghetto and convince him Nick is evil, you're going to put me in charge of your army. I'll be my own general, right? Yes, yes. I always pay my debts. But your job isn't over. Nick and his friends have been very quiet, but I won't suspect that will last. I want you to make sure that we get what we need from Ghetto before they return. I understand. I'll make sure of it. Just remember our deal. I'm sick of this food. Bring me one of those prisoners and have him serve for dinner. We completed the CDC search. We found one person hiding in the basement, but no sign of Nate. Alright. Keep guarding the entrance. They'll be back. I want everyone ready to go in 10 minutes. We're moving out, boys. What's going on, Red? It seems Nick decided to come back and try to take over the CDC for himself. I want you to find Corey and meet me out front. We need to leave. Alright, I'll find him. Ready to go? Yeah. Looking for you should keep him busy. Did you get what we needed? Perfect. Let's move. Ghetto! You shot me! This is for Jordan. Get out of here, Shark! This isn't about you. Ghetto! What are you doing? Why would you shoot Nick? Corey told me the whole story, Shark. He told me how Nick framed Red for killing Jordan. He deserves to die. Oh. Ghetto, I don't know what Red or Corey told you, but Nick is your friend. He's been with us since the beginning. He's bleeding out. Help me get him downstairs to the professor. Gentlemen, listen up. We've come a long way, and I'm happy to announce that we're very close to reaching our goal. That being said, we still need order, which is why I'm appointing Corey our new general. It's been a pleasure to fight with you. I hope you all can appreciate the risk I took in joining you. I expect that same level of loyalty in return. These men will do anything you command of them. I'm trusting you to keep them in line. I won't let you down. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I'm not really too sure. The interstate should be... Wait. Bobby. Boy. Hang on. Let me check oh. around this corner. I think I saw... Oh my gosh. It's him! It's Red! Wait, Red? Yeah. I wonder if he still has Corey and... Well... Should I... No. Have my bow ready? No, we don't know what happened to Corey and we don't know where he is. We need to... We need to play this safe. There's still a chance that Corey might change his mind and... If there's a chance, I want to try and save him. I know he's not evil like Red is. Yeah, I like that idea, but what are we going to do? Well, maybe... Looks like he's just sitting there, waiting for something. I say we try and sneak back around the block and come up from behind him. Sounds like a good idea. Come on. Alright, go. come on. What? Corey? Wakey wakey, up and at him, sunshine. You two will need a walk from here. I know, you'd probably rather sleep, but I'm not a very patient person. Better not make me ask again. Good, now march. Feel free to try escaping. Maybe you could run to the woods or try to sneak away. I'm sure my men would love some target practice. Bobby, where are we? How far from the CDC are we? No, Nick, I don't really know. Woods aren't a... aren't something I've traveled before. Quit talking! Are they talking again? We'll have Guys. To figure something out. Oh, no. Red, don't worry. What? We're not that I far, wish they guys. Had, 
Wish they hadn't taken my lockpicks. Yeah, these guys are serious. Red, stop. We're not going any further. What? All right. Well, see, guys. The look at once again the hostage thinks that he has the situation under control, and uh, you don't. And we're so we're gonna keep on walking, man. Yeah. Unless else? you got anything else to say. And you, you can't even look at me. How could you do this, Corey? How could you work with Red? You know what he's done. <laughs> I've done everything. I've done everything, actually. <laughs> I don't answer to you, and I don't answer to anyone anymore. Come on. Yeah, let's uh, get get the group moving again. Let's go, guys. All right, Bobby. Red. Oh, snake, these guys are serious. Look, we can get out of this. Red, you don't have to do this, okay? <laughs> we can figure out a way around this. We can get you supplies. Food You're for your men. I've got all the supplies I need. Look, I got myself a new gun. Doesn't this look familiar, Nick? It's my gun. Oh, yeah. Probably Nick, what if we, uh, as ever. Nick, look. Quickly, off to our left, there's the hills. What if we run off into those? We can't chance it. There's too many guards and they have too many weapons. They'll pick us off before we even make the tree line. We're just gonna have to play this out and see what happens. Red, tell where us where we're us? going. Yeah, tell us what's happening. I'm I'm not oh just gonna gosh. keep walking. Oh, well, actually, guys, you guys can see for yourself. It's just around the corner. All right, let's just play this out and see what happens, Bobby. I don't like this, Nick. I don't like it at all. Uh, as long as we're alive, we're all set. You know, boys, there's nothing like home, I'll tell you that. How much longer is going to be like that? How much longer are we going to be alive, though, Nick? We'll find, out. we'll find a way, Bobby. We always do. Here we are. Take these two to separate holding pens. Jeez, so many of Red's men. I've never seen so many in one place. Speaking hey there, them, Nick. Red. <laughs> let me out of here. Well, the uh, I really just can't let you out of here. Like, I just can't, you know, you ask for that, and then I gotta let you go. There's actually a lot that goes into it, and I don't, I don't really plan on letting you go anytime soon. You know, you just got here. After everything you've put me and my group through, this isn't enough, is it? You've gotta torment us. That's what you, that's what you are. You're just evil. Well, I mean, some would call me evil, some would call me, like, the smartest man in, in the apocalypse, but, you know... It's it's whatever you know. It's whatever. I re I really claim all titles. It's pretty cool. I'm always the winner. Well, you're lucky. There's a fence between us. I've been waiting for, well, been waiting to find out where your camp is for a long time. I just didn't think it would be under these circumstances. Well, me neither. But hey, how impressive is this? Every single one of these buildings, right, has got amazing air conditioning throughout every single building, and it's just to keep my inventory of you know, everything. Well, well off, well off, because, you know, you always got to keep everything fresh. I like all my food fresh, you know? What do you mean, inventory? You don't keep me in the buildings. I'm stuck out here in this pen. Well, you're going through, like, this little welcoming phase, and then everything else kind of funnels through, so don't worry. Eventually, you get to see the inside of one of these buildings. Uh, but, you know, people, some, you know, people disappear in these buildings. So I don't know if you really want to go in there just yet, but it's up to you, really. It's whatever you do. Stop talking in riddles, Red. I'm not I... stupid. I know what this is. You're a cannibal. I, mean, I feel like that was just always a fact. I mean, I haven't been hiding that, have I? No. You've always been pretty proud of that, Red. Yeah, and now, now, I want to hear you say it. Who won? Who is on the other side of the fence and who is on the wrong side of the fence? I am. <laughs> you know, Red, <laughs> I gotta admit, you have changed. When I first met you, I thought maybe you were just stuck in bad circumstances, but now I know you've changed for the worse. But you know what? I've what? changed too. Oh. You better hope that I never make it out of this pen. Well, or you'll be sorry. I like to think that my guards just won't let you leave, so I don't have nothing to worry about. And you. Well, I guess, I guess he doesn't. So how does that make you feel? I don't know what to feel. I <laughs> Don't worry about it. All you need to know is I won, you lost, and uh, that's really it. That's really all you need to know. Get out of here, Red. I'm sick of seeing <laughs> your face. I don't want to talk anymore. 
All right, all right. Well, don't get on, you know, don't get uneasy. Don't like it when my food gets tense. And uh, with that, guys, make sure you guys keep watching them. And uh, you guys are doing great. I'll see y'all later. Have the chef prepare my meal. I want something fresh after this long trip. Red! <laughs> That's red? Well, well, well. How are you all doing today? I can't believe it. Yeah, Shelby, that's the guy that kidnapped us. And did a ton of other things that I can't even get into. I gotta admit, Red, I didn't expect to lead to follow your man all the way back to you. Can't believe you'd be so stupid. Well, Nick, I feel like we always find ourselves in these situations. You find me, I find you, we get trapped, but I, I always seem to win. Why are you why are you so predictable? You're making this too easy for me, Nick. Easy for me? <laughs> it will be easy. Right after I kill you, Red. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why I put the weapons down. Weapons down. Weapons down, Nick. Oh yeah? I really? Yeah, why well, yeah, would you like to hear why? <laughs> I'd love to. There's only one of you. And I've got Shelby, and besides, even if I didn't, there's no way I'm letting you walk out of here. Well, you see. Neither are my men. My men are not going to let you walk out of here. They're not going to let your friends that you have outside walk out from here. I mean, you walk right into my trap again. It's like it's like you do it over and over again like you want to. I mean, there's no escaping this time. Bobby, sub. Yes. Shelby, can you see out the window? <laughs> do you see them anywhere? What did you oh, do with them? It's, it's a futile attempt. Now, please, please put the gun down. Please, you're going you're gonna to take a window out, and this is a nice place. All right, Red, I'll play your game. <laughs> but I don't understand. Why would you just have your man lead us all the way out here? There's, no, not, there's nothing for miles. It's in the middle of the woods. You know, honestly, I think it was more of like a dramatic effect I was trying to go for. I mean, is it working? Is it, is it working? Please, please tell me if it is. In that lab downstairs, those experiments, you're trying to recreate Formula X, aren't you? <sighs> well... Not entirely. It's not really a one-man team. It's the collective. Ross. Good to see you again, Nick. No. Uh, what's what's wrong, Nick? You, you surprised? You surprised that me and Doctor Ross here have been working together? You two. I can't believe it. Ross, you, you're teaming up with a cannibal, a scientist <laughs> oh. like you. Ah. Uh. If it meets ends needs, I'll uh I'll work with anyone if it, it's the end goal. Can't believe it. Shelby. He's the one that tried to ambush us, and now they're working together? He's more than that. He's the reason this zombie apocalypse is happening. He created the virus. What? Now a little experiment. But you guys didn't count on one thing. What's that? I'm not gonna fall for your bluff this time, Red. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't Nick. think your I don't think your men are coming. We already oh. cleared the basement, and there was nobody there. In fact, there was nothing there. No research, nothing to indicate that this was a this was a base. And you know what? I think if your men were here, they would have already tried to get us. So why don't you just cut the lies, Red, and take what's coming to you? What's been coming to you for a while? No, you all, Nick, Nick, Nick. You, you never, you never really learn, and I think that's the issue. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm done here. I would, I really wish we could chat longer, but as I, I have some friends coming over, and I really don't want to miss that. You're right, uh, Red. You are done. <laughs> you think so? But in reality, you're the ones that are done. Quite funny when a pawn thinks it can play the game. <laughs> it really is, Thinking huh, Ross? you know, 
He thinks he knows what this is about. What? Well, tell him what's about. Hey, watch out! <coughs> Show night, me! Night, night, my friend. <coughs> night, night. <laughs> Well, well. I am surprised you- Let us through, Red. It's over. Hmm. Let me think about that. Nope. Not going to happen. I think we both know you're outnumbered, and there's no chance you risk your friend's life in a firefight. So why don't you just put the guns down, and save yourself the trouble. You still haven't learned? Fine. We can do things the hard way. Take them prisoner! I said take them prisoner! It's over, Red. You're done. What are you idiots doing? Stop standing around and do your- Ugh! My men said you should be the one to do it. You think this is the end? Chaos will always rule, Nick. You can fight it, or you can embrace it. You and me, we aren't so different, Nick. We both look after our people. Different methods, sure. But we've both kept people safe. Goodbye, Red. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that?